Welcome, Totem Pole Nation. This is the recruiting trail for college basketball courting champions, NC State basketball, the class of 2024 recruiting. This is episode number 10, right? So very early in the recruiting process. We're in March Madness. Some team season has come to an end, but NC State basketball has been on the hot seat for a while since the NCAA, since the ACC tournament. I was there. This is Lambo. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Total Pole Nation. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We need your merch like this hat. All you got to do is go to TotalPoleNation.com. Everything is on sale. Thank you, Silas, for, for the platform. Like I said, this is episode 10 of the Recruit Trail, NC State basketball. Kevin Keats on the hot streak. Like I said, NC State has a chance to make history and they did last night. I wouldn't be surprised if they make it for the tournament. But without further ado, let's get into the recruiting trail. All right, so this is uh, the NC State basketball recruiting trail. Obviously, uh, very early in the season. I'm going to keep repeating that. Um, NC State is 37th in uh, recruiting ranking as of right now. They got two commits. Zero five stars, two four stars, and zero three stars. It is very early. Uh, some teams have six commits. Other teams have three. So we will see how that goes along those lines. Um, so when it comes to uh, NC State, NC State uh, has been very challenging for a very long time. NC State has been competitive for a while, obviously, and they've also made a surprising they made a surprising run at the tournament. The surprising run uh, that led by head coach uh, Kevin Keats. Right, Kevin uh, Kevin Keats has been the coach for a while now. Obviously, um, so NC State's a great team. I wouldn't be surprised if NC State makes a run. He's been the head coach since 2017, and as far as that, NC State has been a little bit up and down. Um, he was he did coach at UNC Wilmington before getting the head coaching job at NC State. So Kevin Keats has done a great job within eight seasons of the program. They're right now 23 and 14. They're still fighting for the playoff spot. They had the same record they had last year, but they lost in the round of 64. But NC State is headed to the Sweet 16 um, as we speak. Now they have two guys that I really like as far as commits for NC State. Um, first. Per, first person I want to get into uh, that I want to look at is this guy right here. This guy is going to be something special. This guy right here, he just amazes me, right? Paul McNeil, right? Paul McNeil is a 6'6 shooting guard, 185 pounds. Uh, he is from Rockingham, North Carolina, in-state uh, recruit and the high school he is from is Richmond, right? So Richmond High School in Raleigh, North Carolina. Um, he signed with NC State over Alabama, uh, Clemson, College of Charleston, and Georgetown. So when it comes to when it comes to this guy right here, Paul McNeil, um, this guy is very excellent when it comes to aggressiveness on the offensive end. Very good defense. Very good amount of handles. Um, this is a great recruit for NC State. Here's why. The ACC is one of the most toughest conferences when it comes to college basketball. NC State was able to beat North Carolina in the ACC tournament game. Uh, that's great. Um, but NC State, they're going to compete with North Carolina. They're going to compete with Wake Forest. There's a lot of teams in North Carolina that are competing to get recruits. Um, so NC State is going to be a little bit at the bottom um, when it comes to that as well. But we will see how this goes. But I like this guy in Paul McNeil. Like I said, Paul McNeil is one you know top 50 guard in the state. Uh, so I think he'll make a great factor uh, when it comes to his NC State uh, roster and with Kevin Keats brace to the table in defense and energy and knowing what you're supposed to run. But I think this is a great, this is a great road. This is a great thing that we should do uh, for NC State. Paul McNeil is going to be one of your guys. I wouldn't be surprised if he's up there. Now they only have two recruits, obviously. So basically, the last recruit that. I want to get into is this guy right here, right? So this guy right here, Trey Parker. Trey Parker is from Atlanta, Georgia. Overtime elite player, shooting guard 6'2", 170, 
right? They both signed letter of intent, obviously. Like I said, it's very, very early in the season. Um, these guys can pull off a trade somewhere else or they're not. So he's from Atlanta, Georgia, obviously, right? So he signed with NC State. Now, he could visit some other schools, but as of right now, he's already interested and he already has an offer. So if he doesn't back out, he stays there. So when it comes to Trey Parker, um, he's a point guard from Fettyville, North Carolina. Um, obviously, so that's another, you know, recruit from North Carolina, even though he's from Atlanta, Georgia, obviously, that's where he was born at. But here, that's two guys from uh, the – there's two guys from in, from North Carolina, from the state of North Carolina, despite Wake Forest, despite North Carolina being the top of the college basketball world. When it comes to Trey Parker, he can shoot. He's very aggressive. Um, overtime elite, he has some great highlights on this guy. I wish I could show it to him, but – I can't show it because I don't want to get a copyright on this channel, right? So these two guys, they got two shooting guards. They'll be great. NC State, they can go big, they can go small. Obviously, they got a great roster, a great veteran experience. But deep, bringing these two guys in for next season, Trey Parker, they're going to be a problem next season. Trey Parker and Paul McNeil, they're going to be part of a problem when it comes to next season. So um, those are the only two guys that they have as of right now. Now, looking at – the NC State basketball roster that they have right now, right? There to be some guys missing. DJ Horn, one of their guards, uh, is a graduate. He's a graduate student, so he will be gone. Jaden Taylor um, is a junior, so he might stay or he might go. Cam Williams is a junior, so the, uh, is a junior. Uh, MJ Rice is a sophomore. LJ Thomas is a sophomore. Brandon Pass is a junior. Dennis Parker, junior, the guard is a freshman. Michael O'Connell is a graduate uh, graduate student, so Michael O'Connell will be gone, and Jaden Taylor will be gone. Uh, not Jaden Taylor, excuse me. DJ Horn will be gone um, as well. Uh, KJ Keats, the son um, of Kevin Keats, obviously he will get some playing time probably as long as next season. He will get some playing time um, along the way, so we'll see how that goes depending on the roster. Casey Morrell is a graduate. Um, he will be gone. Alex Nelly is a junior. Uh, Jordan Snell is a sophomore. Uh, Mohamed Dera, great influence. He gets most of the rebounds. I mean, this guy is great. He's a junior. Ernest Ross is a junior. DJ Burns is going to be gone next season, too. He's a graduate as well, so they're going to be missing DJ Burns. They're going to be missing t uh, three top three guys. So top three guys next year are going to be gone. DJ Burns will be gone next year. Michael O'Connell will be gone next year. And, of course, um, DJ Horn. Three of the best players on the team are going to be gone next year. So, obviously, this NC obviously this NC State team is going to be very, very difficult. Not say to overcome, but they're going to have a completely different roster. Now, the guys that they have on the bench, they'll be able to contribute. They'll make some plays. But I really like this NC State team. I think this NC State team that they have with those three graduate transfers, they have some couple of juniors that could – stay for one more year or they could go somewhere else that depends on what they want to do themselves but this wolf pack team with kevin keats has done a great job since taking over in 2017 he's already with, with the winning ac tournament and winning two games in the tournament already he's already got a contract since all the way till 2030 so nc state will be competitive for a very very long time like i said only three guys are going to leave um as far as that but like i said NC State is still on a run to possibly make an Elite Eight. Depending on the matchup that NC State has, I am very, very, very confident that NC State has a chance to make the Elite Eight, a possibly the Final Four. This NC State team plays very great defense. They know how to play together. So, like I said, I am not going to be surprised um, if they make a huge run. Um, so, like I said, along those lines, NC State, this is very early in recruiting trail. I know I've said that multiple times, but like I said, NC State will be something special. They will rank up. They're going to get some guys. NC State, I'm not saying they're going to take over North Carolina because North Carolina is still going to be North Carolina. The Tar Heels, the Tar Heels are still going to be the Tar Heels, but NC State has a chance to compete with the Tar Heels in the future. I'm not saying they're going to take over the reins, but like I said, UNC is going to lose a lot of players as well. But they're going to get top-notch recruits. So NC State is still battling with UNC. So it's very tough to recruit in conference. Um, but this is it for 
uh, the recruiting trail. This is your host, Lambo. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn up on nation. We want to thank you, Silent Sports Network, for the platform. Like I said, if you want to follow the Wolfpack, go on SSN underscore Wolfpack on Twitter. Follow Silent Sports Network on Twitter. We want to thank them for the platform. Also, episode 10, we're going a long way in this recruiting trail very early. With, uh, with the teams that have already did, I'm going to go back and do a part two of them. That'll be very, very soon. But don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. And follow Total Pole Nation. We're reaching our goal of 120K subscribers. We're almost there. I want to thank you. Thank you to all the fans. Y'all the best. And we will see y'all later on. Mm-hmm.